Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax Pets here with a feeding video. The video in which I unboxed all these aquatic creatures from bugs in cyberspace was pretty popular and there were some uh, recurring questions and one was what do they eat or can we see a feeding video and so I decided that we'd go ahead and do one of those. Before we actually start uh, viewing the feeding I just wanted to point out a couple of other things. Uh, people were asking, how do I make sure that they don't escape? So I wanted to show you how that works. The cover to the aquarium is pretty tight fitting. With the exception of back here in the back, there's a little gap. And so what I have done is put screen all the way across and under. It overlaps quite a bit. And then it's secured in the back, up against the back of the aquarium. So it is fairly difficult for anything to get out. I haven't had any issues with anything getting out. Yet, if that changes, I will make adjustments here. But so far, this screen has done a good job. I should emphasize that the gap between the plastic and the edge of the aquarium is very small. And so the screen uh, seems to take care of that uh, quite admirably. So again, many people asked, what do you feed an aquarium like this? And there are several food items that can be offered. We're going to start out with some simple fish food pellets. The different organisms in the aquarium eat different things, but many of the uh, beetles, the diving beetles, will eat fish food pellets like this. All the different sizes of diving beetles will eat it. The uh, Dinutus, the large whirligig beetles, are not as fond of it. They'll nibble on it a little bit. The other beetles really go for it. So we're going to feed the diving beetles first, and then after that, we'll feed the whirligig beetles something quite different. You can see that one grabbed a piece of a pellet and they'll carry it around for a few seconds and typically then they'll drop it when they realize it's it's not their favorite thing. But the other beetles are going to go nuts over it. Oh, here comes one of the sunburst diving beetles. They're usually one of the first to grab one. Oh, there it goes. It's latched onto that pellet pretty quickly and it's taking off with it. There it goes. There's a banded diving beetle. They really don't lose any time. It's one of the large black diving beetles. I'm surprised it hasn't come over quite yet. Probably won't be too long. Oh, here come a few more beetles. They seem to sense it in the water pretty quickly. It doesn't take them long. Oh, there's one of the smaller beetles. Look at the markings on this beetle here. Oh, there's one of the really small diving beetles. The smaller one seems to have a bit more trouble taking off with that pellet than some of the larger beetles did. Here's another one. Oh, one of the larger black ones has a pellet now. Here comes another one of the sunbursts. And yet another sunburst. In terms of color, I think those are my absolute favorites. Of all the insects in this tank. In terms of action, I'm going to have to go with the whirly gig beetles. But they're all all kinds of fun. Another food that you can offer them, I was talking to Peter and Jesse about uh, frozen bloodworms are a very popular food with these creatures. And if you want to learn more about how to take care of an aquarium like this, check out the live streams that I did with uh, Jesse from Shapes in Nature and Bugs in Cyberspace on this topic. I did one back in August of 2022 and a more recent one in 2023. So you can check those out. Talk all, a lot more about the husbandry, the setup, that kind of thing, rather than just an unboxing or a feeding, which are fun, but for more information on specifics. That's what I recommend you check out.
And remember, if you're interested in setting up your own aquatic insect tank, you can go to Bugs in Cyberspace and check out their aquatic insect starter pack. This tank is um, pretty well populated. It doesn't just contain one aquatic insect starter pack. It contains the equivalent of um, a number of them. This is a 20 gallon tank. But if you were starting out with a five gallon or a 10 gallon, you could get one starter pack and maybe two and do quite well with that. And then if you were getting a bigger tank like this one, you'd probably want to get uh, a couple of starter packs and then put uh, some other assorted uh, aquatic insects in as well, which you can also buy on the site separate from the aquatic insect starter pack. So you want it to be as, as well populated as this one. Now, it is a little bit challenging to film the whirligig beetles eating because of the placement of the light. So on, I don't want to just subject you to a lot of glare. Uh, but we're going to try to feed them in just a second. Before I do, I want to give a shout out to my patrons at Patreon. You'll see a list of my patrons at the end of this video. I really appreciate all my patrons do. They help me make videos like this. I couldn't do it without them. So thank you once again. And if you'd like to join the ranks of the Aquarimax Pets patrons and uh, find out some of the perks that you can get from being a patron, check out the link at the end of this video or in the description. And now let's feed these large whirligig beetles. Now I'm about to feed them some melanogaster fruit flies. They eat a lot of soft bodied insects. I've given them some moths that uh, show up in some of my culture bins for isopods and so on. And as well as fruit flies, I've offered crickets a couple of times. Surprisingly, the dinutus, the large whirligig beetles, don't go after the crickets as much as the smaller uh, non-surface dwelling uh, diving beetles do. They were really excited about the crickets. But the dinutus like something that floats on top of the water and is alive. Um, full disclosure, this is probably going to be footage from two different feeding videos, both the fruit flies and the fish food pellets. Just depends on when I get the best shots. So if you hear that tapping noise in the back, that's just me keeping the fruit flies from escaping. These munch down the fruit flies as if they were popcorn. They just grab it and it's gone very, very quickly. You can see them munching them. I'm going to try to show you some footage both from the surface and uh, from underneath. Because these beetles are really very interesting creatures in that they inhabit the surface of the water, but also the area right under the surface. And... Uh, look quite different from both points of view. They make short work of quite a few fruit flies. One of the feedings, the one I'm actually filming right now, is Melanogaster, and then the other one is the larger Hydei fruit flies. You'll probably end up seeing some of both. And you can see other beetles running around with pellets under the water, which is kind of a fun vantage point from which to experience that as well. You can see why these beetles are my favorite. They're so incredibly active. Occasionally I end up with too many fruit flies and I sometimes feed them to my chickens and things like that, but here's another place where I can deal with excess fruit flies. I don't have to worry about too many. These beetles have pretty high metabolisms. They're always going. Now we're going to see if we can get some footage from underneath. A little harder to view. But we're going to do our best to watch them eat from down below the water surface. They look quite different. They remind me of little turtles when you're underneath the water. but very voracious feeders indeed. And with that, I would like to thank you for watching. I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesdays all about aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.